Hello, lovely. How are you? I'm good, thanks. It's nice to meet you. I'm Nicola, one of the plastic surgeons here at Transform, and I'll be carrying out your consultation today. All right, my love. Good. Are you all comfortable? Is there anything I can get you? Okay, but there is some water there, so please help yourself. Okay, my love. Good. So. Right. Can I get you to just clarify your name? Thank you. It's your first time here at the clinic, yeah? Have you been to any other plastic surgery place before? Okay, so just here, okay. All right. Do you mind if I just take your date of birth? Wonderful, thank you very much. And can I take your contact number? Wonderful. And an email address. Mm -hmm. Wonderful, thank you very much. And can I take your address? Yep. Excellent, thank you. All right, that's all that down. How did you hear about our clinic? Okay, that's good. Right. What is your occupation? Okay. Right, so what procedures are you interested in? Right, it's quite a few things. Right, so your main things are rhinoplasty, Botox slash fillers, breast augmentation, facelift. Is that everything? Okay, so they're your main points of interest. Okay, and what other things would you be considering okay yep in which areas okay yep anything else right okay and have you had any plastic surgery before? Or about any Botox or fillers? Okay. So, Botox, where are you wanting done? Yep. Okay. And fillers? Okay, that's fine. Wonderful. So, I'm going to ask you a question, all right? Why? Why do you want all these procedures? It's just a general question. I'm not judging. I just want to get an understanding of what's going on. 
it's standard practice that we have to ask these kind of questions all right because you're coming to me for such big changes and we must make sure that you are mentally stable enough and you know happy with what you are going to be doing and understand the pros and cons yeah all right so just relax for me okay and just tell me tell me what it is that urges you to come here okay right okay so the main key of low self-esteem all right do you have any mental health issues at all okay so looking at anxiety and sometimes depression all right are you on any medication for those okay is that the only one and how long have you been on that okay and when was the last time you saw your doctor and what was that regarding okay and when was the last time you saw a doctor regarding your mental health okay so quite some time ago now and would you say your medication is controlled? If I was to go ahead with these procedures, I would have to speak with your actual doctor first and just get them to clarify some information. Is that okay? Good. I'd have to clarify just a few things. All right. All right, before I go on to other questions, have you got any allergies? Do you have any health issues? Yeah. Is that everything? And are they well controlled? Okay. And apart from the one that you've said, are you on any other medication? Is that for, yeah, okay. And how long have you been on those? Wonderful. Any history of cancer for yourself or any members of the family? Wonderful. Okay. Has anyone else in your family ever had any plastic surgery? Okay. That's fine. So, going back to the initial question. Why? So low self-esteem and we do have some underlining mental health issues all right have you always felt like you wanted to do something okay so more of a recent thing okay so let's start with the botox first okay so botox now you want your crow's feet and your forehead doing now and that's because you feel you've got some fine lines and wrinkles. Okay. Fine lines. Okay, wrinkles in those areas. So is that more of a self-conscious thing? Yeah, so you feel you're getting older and you want to just look a little bit younger. Yeah? things like that are quite common you know people do start having Botox sometimes a lot younger you know sometimes a lot older and things like that so I mean that is quite simple I mean obviously there is risks but you know after time it's gonna you know dissolve and you'll have to have it done again and things like that so it's not kind of a permanent change do you know what I mean a lot of surgery and things is kind of unreversible or if we do reverse it we could have problems and things like that yeah with botox obviously like i say you can inject your forehead and then say within nine months you don't need to have it done again if you didn't like it yeah okay whereas if i give you a facelift it's kind of tough it's done <laughs> do you know what i mean it's quite a drastic change yeah 
emotional cake. Same with fillers. So your fillers, you were looking at lip fillers, weren't you? And trough. Okay, so why do you want the trough doing? So I think you've got dark circles and bags. Okay. And lip, you think your lips are too small. Yeah, and thin. Okay. Right, so why are you wanting bigger lips? What makes you paranoid about them? I mean, I think you've got a lovely shaped lip. I really do. Yeah, it's really nice. Honestly, they look lovely. Yeah? I mean, you're thinking they're a little bit on the thin side. So where are you wanting me to fill them? Is it any particular? Is it top, bottom? Is it all of it? Yeah? Are you wanting more definition or are you wanting just more plump? Because obviously your definition is, is really nice. You've got really nice lips. Yeah. So you just want them a little bit more plump then. Okay. I mean, because you've never had it done before, I'd probably consider like a 0.5 mil. All right. I don't want to go in full with one mil because you'll probably think, oh my goodness, what have you done? And it can, you know, it's just a bit much on your lips. If we do the 0.5 and then say in a couple of weeks to a month, if you feel like you want some more, then I can put in the rest. Yeah? Okay, and go from there. So you're not wanting ridiculous size lips. Okay, so quite natural. Okay, that's good. Natural lips. Okay. So I'm quite happy with that as well, to do your lips. Happy with that, not a problem at all. All right, I can do that. Your lips, looking at them, look quite supple quite hydrated and moisturized which is good and a good lip to do all right now i'm going to have a proper look at your face but looking at your forehead i mean i don't really think there's a great deal on your forehead if i'm honest is it more when you scrunch your face okay you scrunch for me right and it's just there that you're not liking okay relax Mm. So there's nothing to look at. But not happy when you scrunch and frown, etc. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I can understand why you say that. But me personally, I would say wait before you go into that. If I do here, you're not going to have any kind of expression. It's going to be still. Yeah, I mean, are you wanting that? Yeah? Okay. And here, I could sort of see slightly, but if you're wanting the trough done, because I can see you do have dark circles, okay? It doesn't look particularly puffy, but you do have quite dark here. All right. So if I do the trough, that will help lighten it, fill it in and stop giving it a shadow and it also helps slightly smooth out. But I could do that and then Botox here so we can join it together. Yeah. Now I'm happy to do your eye areas. Okay. Yeah. So I'm happy to do your trough and the Botox and eyes. Yeah. Because it's getting down a bit. Okay. Yeah, and you're using all sorts of eye creams and treatments and you're not finding... Okay, so it's something that's bothered you for some time. Yeah, okay. I can understand that, definitely. Yeah, so I'm happy to do your crow's feet, Botox and the filler trough. Perfectly fine to do that. Yeah, happy to do your lips just to make them a little bit more plump. Okay. Happy to do that. Now, the forehead is kind of down to you, really. I mean, looking at you, I mean, to be honest with you, you don't really have any wrinkles, if I'm honest. A couple of, you know, fine lines here, you know, when you scrunch. But I'm wondering if some of that is maybe dehydration. So I will examine your forehead in a moment. Okay, I just want to be sure. I don't want to be putting things in you unnecessarily. Okay, yeah. Because 
sometimes no matter what we do to our bodies, we're never going to be happy. Yeah, things can be temporary. It's like popping on a plaster, pulling it off. Yeah, sometimes we need to kind of address the problem. All right, rather than just changing something and then regressing it down the line. But like I say, things like filler and Botox, you know, can be reversed, if you like. After so long, they will just dissolve. Yeah. All right. So I will double check your forehead. I want to make sure as well that I feel like you're going to benefit from it. I don't want you paying all this money and then for it not to really do a lot. Yeah. So I will obviously give you a face exam once I finish the questions. All right, my lovely. Just to double check your lips, your eyes and your forehead. Okay. And then I will obviously just have a quick look everywhere else. Okay, but that's fine. I get all that's completely fine. A lot of people have that, you know, it's a confidence boost, you know, just something little that you can change, make yourself feel better. So I'm perfectly happy with that. Personally, I mean, you're on about having a lift. So which kind of areas are we wanting to lift? Is it eyes? Are we can hear, hear? And why do you think? But I think you've got a beautiful face. I really do. I mean, don't get me wrong, I am an excellent surgeon and I can do wonders, all right? But sometimes I have people coming to me and I just feel it's unnecessary, you know? I mean, how, how are you wanting to look? Have you got anybody in mind? Okay. I mean, I know I'm excellent at my job, but I'm not a miracle worker, so I wouldn't be able to replicate anybody in particular. If I could, I'd be a billionaire. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But on a serious note, it's a massive step. Are you sure that's what you were wanting? You're not sure, are you? Yeah. All right, all right. Shh, shh, shh. It's okay. It's okay. Tissues are there. Just grab some tissues and take your time. Take your time. Shh, shh, shh. Come on, take your time. All right. I know, I know. All right. Let it out. It's perfectly fine. All right. What are you getting upset over? Yeah. Okay. I understand that. I do. Yeah. All right, my love. So we are thinking that might be a bit much. Yeah, I mean, I'm happy to do the Botox and the fillers. And if you're still unsure and you think you need something else, then we could revisit it and look at maybe a facelift or something yeah because if you're reacting this way i i'm not convinced that you actually want that do you know what i mean yeah because it's such a big change a big procedure yeah i know a lot of people think that but i'm not like that i i like to be straight to the point and I like to keep it real and I'm not just about grabbing people's money all right I want to help people enhance their features and to make themselves feel better but it's got to be right do you know what I mean I don't just want to go in and put everybody under the knife and just you know yeah okay I mean if you look here so we can literally go round your eyes, lift up there, lift it up, do the chin area. Um, and obviously this is with your Botox, crow's feet, tear trough, you know, you can add filler to everywhere really. I mean, if you didn't want to go down the facelift route, but you still wanted something, we could do some cheek volume. So put some filler in your cheeks, even your chin, in your nose area. Okay, because you're about rhinoplasty. So why? 
if you don't like your nose I knew that was going to be kind of the answer but has it always bothered you has somebody said something or okay and what is it you don't like about it I mean I don't think your nose is very big at all I don't I mean I'd have to like cut down the bone a bit I mean are we want to change the shape a little bit are we just wanting to soften it out what what are your thoughts yeah scrunch for me hmm okay so I mean we could if you wanted to maybe add a little bit of filler just there just to raise it up a little bit because if you don't like the little dip there so here I think is perfectly fine and I'm not just saying that I genuinely think it's perfectly fine yeah and I actually really like it I think it frames your face great yeah with with your nose it's really nice it's not too big it's not too small but if you're concerned by this dip as well which I can see the dip and I think it looks quite cute but if you don't like that yeah so it's the dip okay well why don't we try some filler yeah because that's not permanent yeah I mean if you go into having like your nose done you're going to have black eyes puffiness and different things out like for a while it's going to be tender and then we could do it and then it's maybe too small for you now it's too flat it's gone too much in another shape I mean I'm pretty good so it's you know it should be fine but we've got to take all that into consideration and then I might do it and you might think well actually I prefer my nose before yeah so I would be happy to pop some filler in here to cover the dip make it that a bit more and I could have a look around your nose I will have a feel of it in a moment and then you know maybe I could even pop a little bit there maybe to just balance it out a little bit no 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 that won't make you look like you've got big nose all right I will do some marking up on your face in a little while I've got a special pencil that marks everything up so okay so you would consider filler instead okay for now okay I will have a double check of everything and if I feel you're going to benefit from a nose job then yeah I would look at doing it all right but you would consider filler but you're more wanting the surgery okay that's fine I will have a look don't worry um, da, 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 da. okay so you want a breast enlargement yeah okay you feel they're just too small you feel paranoid about it yeah okay what size are you okay well it's not a bad size to be honest it's pretty average but you are wanting to go bigger but it's more of a lift you're wanting okay so it's a lift and a bit bigger okay so we're not going jordan excessive are we or get price so we bit, yeah it's a bit more natural okay so all right okay looking at you as you are now with your clothes on I mean I think you know they're a decent size but if you're wanting to have more umph then I could consider that I mean however I haven't seen them without a bra on so bras can you know deceive things I will have a look don't worry okay I mean I do quite a lot of breast augmentations yeah and you know people if they've had children or weight loss and things like that you know they go south a little bit and people want to bring them up yeah and I'm quite happy about that so I will have a look if that's okay good um, there. okay so I won't discuss all the other areas that you mentioned to me okay i'm happy just to cover those all right so yeah i mean at the end of the day it's your decision it's your face 
right, your body, okay, and you have got to be you, all right, I mean, being you is important, you know, you need to be proud of who you are, okay, accept who you are and just be brave, yeah, but sometimes in life, you know, we need a bit of an oomph, just like we do if we're wearing makeup, skincare, having a hair done, having nails done, and things like that, and, you know, often or not, some plastic surgery is a big part of that yeah okay so if it's all right with you would i be able to just have a little exam have a look at your face and just have a look at your breasts would that be all right yeah okay right so what i'm going to do then i'm going to leave you to just remove your top and your bra for me Okay, I'm going to come back and I'm going to have a feel around your breasts and see what I can do, mark some areas up and see if it's going to work. Then I'll get you to pop everything back on and then I'll have a look at your face. Does that sound all right? You're very welcome. I'll see you in a moment. Are you ready? Good. So I'm just going to pop on my glove. to just sit nicely for me right am i okay to fill around your breasts okay right just have to make sure that they feel okay as well all right sometimes you know too much dense breast tissue and things like that can hinder the surgery. So the breast feels fine and healthy. So you've got quite a, a nice cup. But obviously at the top here, it goes quite flat. Yeah, and that's where you want me to bring that up. Okay. And then you've got some, enough space in there for me to go a little bit bigger for you. Yeah, so I'm gonna lift that up, fill it out more, and then it will bring it off your chest. It must get warm under there. Yeah, I'll just check the other one. That feels nice and healthy. Any pain when I've been touching any? Okay, good. All right. Okay, if you just raise your arms right up for me. Down. Up. Down. Okay, now out. Back in out back in good now can you bend down for me hold it back up down hold it back up stretch right out from your arms okay and relax thank you very much now, if you just bend forward slightly. Yes, yeah, there's quite a lot of space there, not much tissue. Mm. Okay. Okay, I'm back to normal. Okay. Just going to cup underneath and lift slightly. So if you look down, we're we looking to raise up like so good and you want me to just fill it okay relax for me all right so i'm just going to take some measurements all right 
You okay? Good. Right. Is that flush on you? side is slightly different to what you told me so you're definitely wearing the wrong size bras anyway which isn't going to help how your breasts sit okay um, there's definitely a lack of breast tissue up top yeah yeah we've got enough space to go up okay you need to decide how much bigger you're wanting to go okay um, but I definitely think I could do an awesome job yeah I could really lift them for you give you that more natural look I don't want you looking like they're stuck on like balloons fill them out a little bit just to help round them out and lift them with it because as I lift it's good to yeah exactly what are we thinking up size two sizes okay yeah all right i can see because i can mark it in places let me just get my special pen okay right sit as you are thank you this will wash off okay okay let's so bring that down a bit so we've got about eight, nine centimeters. Okay, so we can raise that up a good amount. Okay. Okay, and a center. Okay, so we're gonna walk. There. 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 so if you look so we can that bit can go up so we close that bit up and that will raise it up okay and then here if you can see I can move that and bring that round and that now we will have to move the nipples slightly up okay with the lift just because of the way they are so we can move this let me just there and there and that will be like that okay so where I've marked will kind of be in yeah so we can pop in the implant implant raise it up do it all up and you won't really be able to notice it especially when it heals okay does that sound like a plan I'm happy to do that yeah I think they will look amazing I mean you've got such a nice bust do you know what I mean? A nice shape, quite a nice size, you know, and you've got such a nice body. They would look amazing once you've got to give yourself a little bit of a lift. Yeah. I mean, I don't need to fill them out, but you want me to fill them out, so I'm happy to. But it will help because when I lift it, there might be a bit of excess skin. So it's good for me to add an implant. It will be able to, you know, make it a bit fuller and helps put it in position. Does that sound all right? Okay, so you're happy with that? Good. Well, I'm very happy. Obviously, before the procedure and everything, I will be marking you up properly. But as you are at the moment looking at you, that is what I think I want to be doing. Yeah, that sounds good. All right. So if you wouldn't mind just getting yourself dressed for me. Thank you. 
Okay, so let's milk this off. So I could bring that and make an open part. Yeah, that'd be good. Um. Okay, so something like this. Yeah. And I'm thinking maybe we could get it to this size, maybe. It's quite a good jump, isn't it? But not too excessive. Yeah, but I, it's also good for when I actually am doing the surgery. I can see the size, and if I can, can't fit quite as much in, I can drop it back a bit. If I think I can f squeeze a little bit more in, then I'll pop a little bit more in, as long as it's nice and tight, but not excessively that you can't breathe. Okay, that sounds all right. Excellent. So, we're happy with that. Perfect. Am I all right to touch your face? Thank you. Right, so just keep your face nice and still for me. Forehead is quite smooth. Can't see any wrinkles. When I go like this, it scrunches a bit, but I suppose we are meant to have something there. But some people just don't like it. Right, scrunch. Okay, so you want about that there and there. the whole of that itself that you don't like okay okay relax I mean your skin is dehydrated which can show itself as fine lines so I think we need to drink some more water if possible and maybe try and use something that's going to add water into your skin. Okay. If you wanted me to do that, obviously I'd have to scrunch it and get it in. And then we should be able to work with it. So if you do want me to do that, I'm happy to do that for you. Yeah. And just see how we get on. Personally, I mean, looking at you don't need it, but if you really don't like the way when you're scrunching and putting face and you can see the lines, then okay, that's fine. Okay. I must say that you've got gorgeous brows. 
really nice because of the shape they kind of give you that nice lifted look anyway yeah they are lovely so let me look at these crow's feet yeah there's not much but I could easily sort that out for you yeah not a lot at all but you don't like it no okay that's fine no problem I can do that for you It'll be nice and smooth yeah so it'll be nice and smooth and nice and smooth so that'd be good and then obviously I can see the excessiveness here because you're quite indented there and because it indented it makes it look darker so you get shadows okay so I definitely can fill that yeah and that it's got some reflective stuff in it as well so it's really good your eyes are going to look like they're glowing they look really nice when it's done yeah that's yeah I can see that can work I can picture it nice smooth smooth and smooth and nice yeah that's gonna look good yeah I can't feel it much puffiness but if you do get puffiness it's really gonna help yeah I can work with that mm, definitely okay so you're not fussed about anywhere else okay now the nose forehead oh, I've got that okay so just point to me I mean I could take that down a tad if you really wanted or I could just fill there slightly but then I'm guessing you're going to be worried that that's too overly. Yeah. I don't want to bombard you and do everything too much at once. Okay. 
Okay. So I could take that down there. That will just smoothen it there a little bit. It's only going to be a very minimal amount that I feel you would benefit from without it being excessive. If I take more than that, you're going to be changing your entire shape. And that's not what you want, is it? No. All right, my lovely. Okay. So. Um. So if you look here, I'll be taking from there just to flatten that out. Okay? Yeah, so you want less of that. Okay. Okay, that's fine. If you didn't want to go straight in for the surgery, I can do the filler first. All right, I want you to have a think about that. Okay. All right. So, I'm happy with all that. All right, do you have any questions for me? Okay, is there anything you would like to know or anything you would like to tell me? Okay. Okay, so I'm happy to do the breast lift and enlargement, okay? And I'm happy to do the crow's feet and the forehead and Botox, okay? And I want you to think about the nose, definitely think about it whether you want to go ahead with the rhinoplasty or you just want to try the filler. All right, yeah. Okay. I don't want to do the face lift, not at this stage. All right, are you happy with that? Yeah, I think when you've got the other things done, your mind will be completely changed. All right, I think what I should do first is Botox, yeah? and trough yeah and lips all right i will check over your lips in a moment but i know they look fine okay yeah then at the same time fill it in your nose if you go for the filler all right if not then you'd have to come back and i do the surgery and obviously your breast enlargement needs to be done at a different time as well okay you need to give your time to recover so you will have to decide which one you'd like doing first. But if I'm going to put Botox and things in these areas, try to think of not overlapping it so much. Yeah. If I do, obviously, your nose, you're going to get swelling and it's not going to be very effective with the trough. So then if you definitely want to go down the rhino route, I could actually do that first and leave everything else see what I mean you've got to kind of weigh up what you want and what you don't want yeah if it was me I would go for the Botox trough lip fillers and the breast augmentation yeah personally only you got to decide all right okay let me just have a look at your lips yeah they're fine I could get a decent amount in there without it being too stretchy okay Okay, okay then I am happy with all that so as it stands at the moment what are your thoughts yeah okay uh, okay so you're having second thoughts about the nose okay I don't want to put you off but I'm just trying to be realistic yeah okay so you are definitely want to go ahead with your breast enlargement and uplift okay and you definitely want your lip fillers and your Botox in the trough. Okay. Now, I need you to decide for definite about the nose 
first okay before i can decide what we do yeah okay yeah double check with yourself you know go away have a think about it do i really want to take that step do i just want to leave it and get the rest of it done first and see what i look like and then maybe go in with the filler and then maybe we can leave that and then go down the rhinoplasty route yeah all right if you go away and have a think and then if you can contact me and let me know all right whatever you decide all right my love okay all right so once you've made a decision on everything i will need to contact your doctor so would i be able to have the doctor's name and the surgery And contact number for them, do you know? Okay. I will contact them and just say that we've seen each other. We've had a discussion. This is what you want to do. Can you clarify the health history, mental health, etc.? All right. So am I allowed to do that? Okay. Can I get you to just sign there to say you're, you're happy for me to do so? Thank you. Wonderful. I'll get that done when you're gone, so that's fine. Right. So, can I book an appointment to see you? All right. So, how about next week? Same time? Okay. Right, so that gives me a week to contact your doctor check out everything that and make sure that everything is perfectly fine medically mentally all right you seem very well alert to me constantly problems or anything like that but i do want to check with your doctor all right then it'll give you time to decide on what you are wanting for definite and what you're not wanting and what you want first what you don't want etc okay is that all right then you come back to me then we can decide and chat all about that then we can actually book in the treatments and carry out from there all right but in the meantime if you want to ring me for a chat got any questions please do so and if you decide in the meantime about what you want doing you can let me know and then i can book appointments over the phone and then i can just get you in and say carry out your fillers etc and operation and go from there all right my lovely oh you're welcome oh it's all right. So, please don't worry about anything. You're in safe hands with me. All right. Yeah, and I'm very happy now we've we'd got deep into a conversation and everything. So, here is a folder that I've put together for you. It's got all this information in about all the procedures. All right, and everything, pros, cons, different pictures of different patients different things like that treatment plans advice aftercare you know pre-op and things like that as you can see here and it tells you a breakdown of each treatment and you know side effects and things like that okay so that is for you my love you're welcome i hope it's useful to you all right okay so i will see you next week unless i hear from you on the phone then i can just see you when it's time to do your treatments all right you're very welcome my lovely you take care now bye bye <laughs>